Hey guys, it's a Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, and I have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today, and I'm going to jump right on into this haul because it is a big one. I finally have gotten into the Christmas mood. We're about a week, week and a few days till Thanksgiving. So I feel justified that I've gotten out a few fall hauls, a few fall picks, and the Thanksgiving is right upon us. Um, and now I can focus on the next step, which will be Christmas. So I've got some Christmas things in this haul. I've got some regular things in this haul. I've got some fall things in this haul. So I'm gonna jump right on into it. So because it is a long one, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you right now, grab you something to drink. Here's one of my little cups that I got last year. I did put it in the microwave and um, oh my goodness, I was gonna check. Uh, da, 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 da. It does not say not microwave safe, but when I put it in there to warm up my coffee, it didn't sound right. So. I don't know what all that was about. I hope it's nothing to do with the writing. Maybe it's something to do with the writing on there. But hello, fall, guys. Um, grab you something to drink. Let's just get into this haul. I got a bunch of new, new stuff, stuff that I have never seen before. As a matter of fact, I just have a couple of repeat items that I buy over and over again. The rest of this stuff... Yeah, it's pretty much new. Um, I'll go ahead and try to do the repeat stuff and tell you when it's a repeat stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on this one right now. Oh my goodness. I have one more thing in the refrigerator that I do want to get and I'm gonna go grab it right quick. Bear with me because it's something that's new item and I want you to see what it's all about. So hold that horses and let me grab them right here in the kitchen. Thank you so much. That way, when I get to the Christmas stuff, I will be able to show you guys what I got. I have everything stacked on top of each other, so I'll hold that for a minute. So I'm glad I remember that because I remember this one from the garage, and I'm just going to do this one first because it's a massive, heavy, and I'm going to be honest with you. The car that I have now, I am really going through this stuff pretty doggone fast. I don't know if it's me just washing my windshields or whatever, but I was gonna pick up one of these at Walmart. They were $3.97. So I picked up two when I saw these. The, oh my goodness, I'm gonna try to figure. These are massive. The LA, LA to, LA's Totally Awesome Windshield Washer Fluid. Um, this is a one gallon. Now it says for summer use only in 32 and above. I just realized that, but that's okay. I do have several of these, but I go through it so fast. I thought, okay, I'm going to pick these up I'm gonna hopefully have the car by next summer. It can sit out in the garage. I don't think it gets old. Um, removes bug splatter and droppings and road grime. Um, um, it's freezing right now. I've got my heat on, so I'll be waiting on this. I think it's gonna get down in the 30s tonight. But anyway, picked up two of these for a dollar a piece because they were $3.97 at Walmart. And I was like, I'm going to go wait and get that. Even at $1.25, it's still a good deal. So I'm going to show you those and get that out of the way. All right, let's jump into some regular stuff. And then I'll get into a couple of the seasonal things. Um, I'm going to start with some fall stuff since fall is almost over. I don't really know if this is fall or not. And I've been holding on to a lot of my items for at least a couple weeks because I knew I've been seeing people hauling stuff. And I'm like, I got that. I got that, I got that, and I know people have been hauling these, and I wasn't going to purchase this. This is by the Crafter Square, um, and it says it's a wood bead wreath, but I'm going to take some um, of my foliage, and I'm gonna put a little dove or a little wren, and I'm going to hang this on something very soon. Um, I just went to a boho uh, baby shower, so cute. What a what a lovely idea for a little baby shower for a little girl. Um, had wonderful ideas of what I could do with this. I only picked up one because I am trying to, I've got so many items that I want to craft and I keep putting more and more in my craft bucket and I've got to stop it. So I need to craft and get that out of the way and move on. So I got this cute little reef. It, and like you, if you don't want to, um, you know, if you want to break this off, I think it, you can pull it out with some pliers and you can use these beads for individual things. But I thought that was a pretty doggone cute.
pick that up. I do have these two that I, I bought. They're similar to the one I bought in um, for the Halloween that says um, I'm here for the booze and it had the little um, uh, ghost on it. And the other one I think said goals, G-H-O-U-L-S, -O -O goals, just want to have fun. Well, these are the ones for the um, fall time and I'm going to do a couple of shorts maybe. I've got the little glasses somewhere around here that I picked up to do these specifically on because you can't even buy. I mean, this was $1.25 and the glasses $1.25 unless you can get them in bulk and sometimes I find them in bulk but I've been buying the glasses that look just like this glass here in this picture um, for $1.25. So for $2.50, you know, you can't even buy a mug for $2.50 or a glass for $2.50 that you really got things that you like to say on them. So I think that's not too bad. So this one here is pumpkin spice and everything nice. This is also by Crafter Square. They're rub on transfer stickers. Baby Zaire, who's one year old, could do this. Very, very easy. It has the um, instructions on it. This one here, I'm gonna try to get it before Thanksgiving here in the next week. Um, grateful, thankful, and blessed. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that's how I feel going into this holiday season. I did, um, I've got my kitchen all decked out with all this gathering stuff, with this gather, with these gorgeous pumpkins. I don't have the pumpkins here, I've got them throughout, mostly in my bathroom because I can look at it all the time because I'm always going into that bathroom. And I put out all my pumpkins. This is just one of those um, home collections um, towels and, and I love them. I don't like that microfiber that much, but I love the designs and for $1.25, it's still a good deal. I use them and use them and use them. So I got a couple of those um, towels and I also got a dryer mat. Now here's a story. I could not remember if I had the dryer mats. I actually have two and then now I have three. But here's the thing about this one. The one here new this year has the, the turquoise in it and the turquoise pumpkins. The two I have over there that I got last year, they all are just orange, the, the amber, burnt amber oranges and that color. So this was new and I'm going ahead to keep it. I was gonna take it back and I thought, no, it's $1.25, I'll keep it. And this is by the Home Collection, a dish drying mat. I use these all through the season because I'm that type of person. It makes me happy to decorate my house and I keep stuff over and over again. And every year I just take out what I wanna do and I do different things and it looks different every single year. I don't think I've had a year that I've done the same thing twice. Um, sometimes I do the same thing twice, but sometimes I don't. Repeat buy is I went ahead and I only could find, I have uh, this collection from last year. I only got one of these and I have one other one that's packed away over there that I'm gonna pull out for Thanksgiving. This is the um, Royal Norfolk. And the only one I could find, I have one other one on this, so I got two that say gather together, okay? And I got those last year. Um, I got one of those and I got one of the Happy Falls. Actually, I got two of the Happy Falls last year. Um, and I think I hauled them, I'm not sure. Look back in my playlist, it's somewhere in there. But I did find these and I thought these were so cute. I had not ever seen them last year. And so I went ahead and picked up four more to make a total of six for my set. And this is again by the Royal Norfolk, Norfolk. And guys, this right here is that Buffalo white and black check. It says microwave and dishwasher safe. And that means a lot. Okay, so I got four more of those. And then of course, I'm not gonna pull out each one of these cups. I was going to do it, but I've got so much stuff. I'm not gonna break them down. So this right here is the cups um, that say happy fall. Um, you know, the Royal Norfolk. I thought they were real cute. Let me put them together so you can see it. I'm probably going to do something on my community tab um, to show you a little quick picture of how they look on my centerpiece on the table maybe, I'm not quite sure. But I thought these were so cute for $1.25. Happy fall, y'all, happy fall. And I do like the black and white because I, I usually do black and white things a lot. I have, didn't realize I was doing that more and more but it's, um, you can add colors to those. Um, you can always find black and white stuff. And I was just pleasantly surprised. Now, let me see if I can put these down here on the floor because I do not want to break them. Okay, let's get into some food items. I think that's all of my fall stuff. So I'm gonna show you a couple of food items. First of all, I have been seeing people hauling these um, Duchess powdered sugar donuts. They had them in the powdered sugar and they had them in cinnamon. Now, I love cinnamon stuff, but Baby Zaire, who I probably will munching these with him, even though I'm trying not to give him sugar, but I'm the glamour, so it's gonna happen sooner or later. 
Um, you know, I'll watch them while I eat it. And of course, I'm gonna eat a few of them. I have not tasted these ever, but everybody that's been hauling them that I see, they say they're fresh and delicious. These go to December 13th of 2022, and they're fresh little donuts, and I thought they were cool. Um, it says, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're liking that on Facebook. Okay, so we got that. Then I also wanted to pick up one of these before they got gone. I was gonna do them last year. I like to put these out with the little candies that I got, which I will be doing a little short or maybe a small little quick uh, video where I taste test all the, the flavored um, Werther's uh, caramels, all the different ones for the fall season. And I like to put these cookies out too when we're doing Thanksgiving before my things are getting ready because people are always coming hungry and they're standing around waiting. And I'm like, let's put out little cookies in these little containers because they have a lid and they're a little bit more sanitary. And then the candy, so they'll have stuff to munch on. Um, these are the Danish style butter cookies. I love them. Um, now for $1.25, this is a very small tin. They keep getting smaller and smaller. This is a four ounce tin. And it says it goes until January 31st of 2024. If you can even see that, that glare is terrible. But yeah, 2024, wow, I need to get a couple of these and keep them put up because last year they got gone in the Dollar Tree that I, that I got this one. Um, literally, there were two of them and I just got one because I thought, well, maybe somebody else wants them like I did. So I wanted to let you know for $1.25, this is the little cookies you get in them. They're very delicious and they're just easy, easy, um, you know, something to put out for a quick snack for sweets. This is a new buy for me. I actually had never seen these and I'm gonna tell you why I like them. This is, I'm gonna mess up that name already. It's C-U-E-T-A-R-A, -E maybe it's Kutera. I have no idea. They're entertainment crackers. They have the three different ones. They have multigrain, water crackers, and buttercrisp, 11.25 ounces. Um, I was gonna tell you the expiration date before I tell you why I was really happy to find these. Um, I said I was gonna start marking <laughs> these because I waste too much time trying to find the expiration date. And since I don't see it, I'm gonna tell, move on and hopefully it'll pop up right before I'm about to put it up. Um, I make something, called, and I don't know if I've put it in my hauls, but it's called pepper jelly. Basically, you take hot pepper jelly. You can get it in um, jalapeno. You can get it in the red or the green. I usually, I don't make it homemade, but I know people who do, and it's delicious. But you can buy it at Kroger and Publix for sure. Um, and it's getting pricier and pricier. But you take it and you take cream cheese, softened cream cheese. You pour the hot pepper jelly, I mean the pepper jelly over the cream cheese and you microwave it for a couple of seconds very, very quickly and get it warm and you take your crackers and it looks like a bunch of gobbledygook, but that's the best tasting stuff and it's such a cheap um, appetizer. And anyway, it doesn't matter how long these go because I'm gonna put them out for Thanksgiving. I, I actually was thinking about putting them out for Christmas. So if I have any left over, which we probably want, um, I don't know what the expiration date is. It's hiding from me, but regardless, I'm gonna try these out. My favorite um, is always the Buttercrisp, and I do kind of like the Multigrain. I'm not a big fan of those water crackers, but a lot of people in my family are, so I bought these. For $1.25, I used to get, well, I do buy them from Aldi's. They used to be like two bucks, now they're four fifty nine. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh yes. Now it is a little bit smaller. I don't know if it has the tray in it. I don't wanna open it up for time purposes. Um, and because I'm gonna put this out for Thanksgiving, I bought this pack of entertainment crackers and I thought it was a pretty good, good deal. Some other good deals of, of something that I have never seen at the Dollar Tree before, if I don't knock everything over here, are these, um, and I've seen people hauling them they're the 18 pack of the chocolate um, sandwiches, kind of like the knockoffs for Oreo cream cookies. Um, basically, it's a net 10.1 ounce per packet. And I am going to try, I guess it's not gonna matter if I butcher this because it's just going to be, this is something I'm gonna put in a cookie dish and I'm gonna really put it out for baby's eye air because, you know, I do like to have things on hand and you know, I know we're not supposed to be doing all this sugar stuff for babies so soon, and I really hate to bring in bad habits, but again, I'm the glamour, and I'm already spoiling them, and I'm terrible about it. So this is the package. How stinking cute. <laughs> I'm thinking they're gonna be like four in a pack. Here's two. Um, perfect 
to pull out one when he's whiny or fussy or just wants to eat something while I'm fixing out his dinner or after his dinner, I don't know. Just to have for a little midnight snack for myself, I can grab one of these, have a couple of them, not eat the whole box like I normally would. Um, yes, there's 18 of these little things and I'm gonna put them in a cookie jar and I'm already loving this. Now this is the Sobix, S-O-B-I-S-K. Um, per pouch, it's 80 calories, so that's not too, too bad. Um, and it goes, and I mean, these right here, um, I don't give them out a lot, so I will keep these for a while. And I know when I, here they are, it says best by January 30th of 2023. You probably can't even see that writing in there. Um, I do look at these when I get them for the baby because I, I'll have them for a while. This is something that I'll need to keep and it has needs to have a good date on it because I don't keep them all the time. Another pack of the Sobix that I found were these animal crackers. Now I have bought him and he loves them. They're actually sitting right there. They're the Bear Grams. I can see them. That's an 18 pack. This is a 10 pack. I bet it's a little bit bigger as far as the packaging. And this is low fat, cholesterol free. These ones have 110, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna have more of them. All babies need to have animal crackers here and there, and he's getting his little teeth in, so he can chew them. I messed around today at the, the Boho baby shower. Um, I don't know when I'm putting out this video, but when it gets out there, I did do a, a baby shower thing as well. And um, I messed around and gave him a gummy bear thinking, you know, it was just a little piece of the gummy bear. Well, he couldn't do that. And he almost choked and I felt horrible. So I have to get better about reminding myself he's still a little baby and his teeth are growing in. Yes, these are a lot bigger, okay? These would have been actually very cute to have to pass out at Halloween. I'm gonna try to remember that next year if you know they have these out because these are pre-packaged and they're they're pretty cool. Um, they have the bear grams with the chocolatey bear grams, the regular bear grams, the cinnamon bear grams, which he's kind of allergic right now to cinnamon for some reason or another. And then they got the cream cookies. I mean, those 10 packs and 18 for a dollar 25. Come on, you cannot buy that anywhere. I challenge you, put in the comments if you can find some snacks cheaper than that and that tastes good because I've tried those graham, those chocolate graham bears and they're pretty doggone good. I help, I help Zaire eat them and I know that's not a great thing. Mm. Loving the coffee right now because it is a freezing. Okay, a couple repeat buys. I did pick up some more of these. I'm sorry for that glare. These Ultra Shine 10 pack disher washer things. Now, I don't run the dishwasher as much as I used to when I had a house full of people and my kids were here and everything. Um, I do have a dish full over there. I usually just wash them and rinse them and stick them in the dishwasher, but we're gonna be baking. How uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. I did a lot of cooking at Thanksgiving, I mean at Halloween and um, had people over and, and did a lot of things, had a lot of dishes, so I was running low on these. And one time I couldn't find them. I had to get my sister to hunt and everybody when they went to the Dollar Tree to find these. So yeah, I got two of those. Those are repeat buys and I love them. They, they satisfy everything that I do. Another repeat buy are these razors, no big deal. There's six blades, $1.25. I always pick those up. Um, a couple of new things that I, well, let me do these things that I buy all the time and show you the, the newer things. I did go ahead and I, this time I looked and I picked up these vitamin C 500 milligram 45 tablets because the last time I picked up one with 45 and one with 30. So I picked up two more of those just because um, they're only good for 45 days. And I've already, you know, since I last hauled them, I've already went through two, two months of them already. It's been that long. So I went ahead and picked them up because they're not always there. I did go ahead and pay the dollar twenty-five for this hundred and forty count sheet um, paper towels, custom size. I like the ones that you can pull off one, two, and three. Um, I hate that they're a dollar twenty-five, but you, you know I can't find them any cheaper. I only buy the ones that got the one, two, and three. I don't buy the bounty or the other one because I roll through those in one day. So these last a little bit longer. So for a dollar twenty-five, I justified it. I also picked up some more of these compartment type um, containers. There's 10 of them in there. Thanksgiving's coming up. I'm not having, I'm not hosting Thanksgiving at my house, Jesus. Um, but I'm going to be cooking a lot. So I'm gonna be going to my sister's house. So she's got that burden this year. Just kidding, not really. And we always take little containers because we stuff ourselves silly and then we gotta take some home so we can stuff ourselves silly later on. And I know I'm gonna be bringing on home some leftovers. So those are repeat buys, $1.25. Picked up one more thing of tissue. This is the um, 
this, I guess it's Big Value brand. Um, it has 85 sheets. I always look for the one that has the most in it because it's, you know, it's that time of the year and you gotta have it. I did like the little saying, Faith, um, Family and Friends. I thought that was really trying, uh, telling for the Thanksgiving holiday. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, a couple of new items, or maybe it's, it's new to me, are these um, chopping mats, and this is by Cooking Concepts. Now, this is a kind of a, a, like a sage green. I know you can't really tell it with that light. There's two mats in here, but I did not get them for chopping. Um, I'm having a time where I'm, I'm taking bread, or I'll take something and I'll lay it on the countertops because I don't wanna mess up a whole plate. I don't like using my paper plates for stuff unless I'm really needing to do it because I don't like to buy paper plates all the time. So I bought these to pull out, to lay on the counter and put like a sand, if I'm making a sandwich, just, you know, where the bread crumbs on there and then I can dump it in the trash. Because right now I go through the house too many times seeing bread, bread crumbs or pieces left over for where I've made something on the counter and didn't have anything underneath it. So I went ahead and picked up two of these. Now I had not seen them in colors. And everybody said, oh, they got colors. They had the sage green, they had a, a turquoise one, and they had a, a navy blue, and then they had all the white. I had the white ones, and the, I mean, excuse me, the clear ones in my refrigerator as refrigerator liners, but I picked up this sage green one for me to just put down to make sandwiches or something like that. Okay, I know this is getting long. Hang in there because I'm about to get into the Christmas stuff. I'm almost there. I got a couple more items. New items. Matter of fact, this is... a really new to me and I was tempted to buy a couple of them, but I thought, Wendy, there's five counts. This is Keras Value Pack Contact Lens Cases. For anyone who wears contacts, you know this is a deal. Go try, go to Walmart and find these for $1.25. It's not gonna happen. I have some from years and years and years that I need to get rid of, but because I'm chintzy, I, I wouldn't pick, I wouldn't do it. I bought different types that look pretty and cute. They don't last if you try to boil them because I, I boil mine. Um, I don't put them in the dishwasher anymore. I actually boil them in a pot with some, a little bit of dishwashing Dawn and let them, you know, sit out in my dryer sheet, my dryer pad, uh, racky things that I like that I just showed you, mats, <laughs> and I let them soak, um, and then I, you know, use them over and over again. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, new item, I got to get it to haul, but this is something I'm definitely gonna use, and I, I know it's spring colors, but who cares? Uh, yellow, pink, lime green, the little lilac purple, and I think that's like a little fuchsia pink. Um, five for a dollar twenty-five contact lens cases. For someone who wears contacts, you know that's a great deal. I did pick up this comb set, three pieces. I got this, it's just distributed by the Green Bar Industries. I did pick this up for baby Zaire because I was, I, when I took him out of the bathtub the other day, I have a regular brush and it, I would try to brush his hair and it's so tight, it wasn't working. So I picked up the little um, big tooth combs and this little pick so it'll look a little you know, easier for his hair. Um, I, did, I didn't see any other colors and I thought, well, if it's Thanksgiving, it's orange and black. Halloween, Thanksgiving colors. I thought that was cute. All right, before I jump into the Christmas stuff, I did pick up one last item that was just random. Now, I don't buy books. I've been, I'm a book lover. I love reading. I got a, probably about 2 million books, and I'm not kidding you. I got a lot. And I would take many, many more if I could, but it's time to stop. But when I see things like this that bring back childhood memories, I just went ahead and picked it up. And this is called The Life of John F. K. Kennedy Jr., he, America's Reluctant Prince, written by Stephen M. Gillen. And it's, you know, I put it on my little community tab. It was $1.25, pretty thick book. Um, I'm nosy, I, I wanna see if it's got any information in here. I know he used to date a bunch of actresses like um, Madonna. Um, I think it was Madonna, don't hold me to that. Um, Brooke Shields, I know for sure. And I, I, I don't know if you guys know Daryl Hannah. Um, and I just want to see if any of that information is in there because I'm nosy and I've ne I've never seen any books on John F. K. Kennedy Jr. in the Dollar Tree. Now I've seen them everywhere else, and I'm just that type of person. You'll see me hauling maps, you'll see me hauling um, history books, things on the president, because I like to be in the know on those things. They fascinate me. I, I just I just love that kind of stuff. Sue me. I just I'm weird. Okay, Christmas time is here. One week and four days, so you know what that means. Okay, we're gonna leave that in the background if it annoys you, I'm sorry. But here's what's gonna happen. 
this is what we're going to do. Let's put this over here and hide it under something so it's not so, so loud. Um, I wanted to kind of make a little scene for music for Christmas because we're going to do rest of this Christmas haul. Not a whole lot of stuff, but some good stuff, all new stuff, and I'm gonna compete with that. So let me cut that off because it's going to drive me absolutely nuts. But in the meantime, I hope everybody is doing well on their Christmas shopping. I know people have gotten and jumped a gun um, and bought, have the, some people have their whole Christmas tree up. And to me, that's crazy. But if you do, good for you. But as for me, I'm starting today. I'm getting out my stuff and I put a little poll in my community tab to see um, what people um, opinion were for a couple of ideas that I want to do for my Christmas this year and I'm going to announce that very soon. So here is a new item for me. This is the Mrs. Fields sugar cookies. Now I think I've seen someone hauling it. They have never been at my stores but this is the premium cookie um, dough. Um, it's 130 calories. Um, it's good until March of 2023. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make these for Santa cookies because I'm not going to buy a bunch of sweets this year. I think this is what I'm gonna do is bake these, maybe with even baby Zaire. He probably won't even understand what baking is, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I got that and I had to pull that out of the refrigerator so you guys could see it. Some more new items that I got, and I thought, why do they not think of these things years ago? I got these two little, little hangers on the door. This first one here, they're by Christmas Cottage, which is the name for the stuff at the Dollar Tree. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And as you can see, it's just a little pillow, really cute, real thick, and it's got that red iconic truck and this just screams to me, Christmas. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So I got that and they had different ones, but I just picked up these two um, because I have several of them from Thanksgiving and the fall, but I just wanted to have a couple for Christmas. This is also again by that Christmas cottage. And this one here is horse drawn sleigh rides, 10 cents per ride, hot cocoa, blankets and cookies. And how stinking cute is this thing. I mean, for $1.25, I think they're awesome. Now, these next two um, items, I know I have not, I have not seen anyone haul these. And I, I sometimes wonder where the Dollar Tree gets some of their stuff. And this was one of those Dollar Trees. It's one of the ones I love to go to, but it's kind of far from me. So I can only make it there like once every couple of months. But I may make a trip out there again before Christmas because they have the best stuff. And the people who run that Dollar Tree, they are good and they have so much stuff and it's so much new stuff. So here's this item that was just randomly sitting in a box with a bunch of them. And of course it took me an hour to dig through them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because they all had different things on them and I had to have some with the perfect bottoms and the perfect top. <laughs> but I love the color. It looks like it's like a, a raspberry kind of color, cranberry, kind of, I don't know. It's, it's real, real pretty. And these are huge. These are now they're not about half side of my size of my head. They don't really have a name on them. It just says Holiday Longleaf, assembled in Mexico. So I don't know where this came from, how it got there. It was in a random uh, brown uh, box with tons of them in there. So I picked up this pretty one, and I kind of got this squatty one because I'm going to put them in a, a in a kind of like a you know some kind of decoration i don't know but i picked up these two for a dollar 25 and the reason why i only got two of them is because i have a yard full of these and i thought well i could go pick out plenty of them and paint them all kinds of colors but these were already um dried out and they looked awesome and i had never seen um anybody hauling them and if, if you have hauled them put in the comments and say oh yeah i found those i saw those because i have not seen anybody hauling these um, this one had some of the pieces have already come off it's probably in the bag so you have to be very delicate with them but they're awesome for $1.25. I thought they were great. Okay, these two here I have seen people hauling. I thought this was pretty doggone cute. This one as well. Um, I'm gonna turn them on. You know, they have the little tab. Hopefully they're gonna work. You can't tell it. Yeah, you can a little bit. This is LED lanterns by that Christmas cottage. Um, adorable, and then the white one. I thought these are pretty good for, these are, 
these are actually pretty cool. They're plasticky and they got a little piece in there that you can't hardly see. Yeah, there you go. It's got a, it's glittery. And let me see if this one will show up at all because I got the light on. Um, this one here, yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. I think these are probably my favorite thing of this haul so far. There might be one other thing, but I've got ideas for these. Um, for $1.25, anything that lights up, I'm like tickled to death because I love to light up the whole house and then turn the lights off. And especially on Christmas Eve or when it was Halloween, I did that. I just think it's just so adorable to have these things. And for $1.25, you really can't beat it. I mean, come on, for $1.25, it's just an awesome, awesome, awesome deal. So in the theme of keeping up with these light ups, and of course I got that music thing, I bought these and they're gonna be loud because they're all in these bags. Let me see if I can get them without them falling apart. I bought every one of these styles except maybe the Santa. Um, and I don't know why I didn't get the Santa. I have no idea. I, I really don't. Or I don't know I didn't. Okay, so here's the first one. And this is by the Christmas House. I think I'm calling it Christmas Cottage. These are hanging silhouette silhouettes. This is the snowman. You can see that. Okay. That's the snowman. Um, I did get several of these stars. You can see that one, because I like stars. Then they have this one here, that's the snowflake. And those are in the packages, so I did open up two of them and I did put lights in them, because they all require three AAA batteries and they tell you that on the um, packaging. So the first one here, they have like this little hook and it has a little suction cup. So if you wanna hang them, I thought how how credible, I love the Dollar Tree right now. They just think of every doggone thing. So this is gonna be a light, so I'm gonna turn it on. It's not too, too bright, but I want you to be prepared for it. Um, you can kind of see it twinkling in there. It doesn't even light the whole star up, um, but I did, thought that's what it did. And then I changed it and I went to a different direction. Oh, well, maybe it's not showing up because I got that ring light there, but in, yeah, when I took put it down, it's the whole light, but you can kind of see that. And I thought, okay, that's pretty doggone cute uh, for that one. So I got this one and I thought they were all going to be um, that clear color, the clear warm white. Well, here's a Christmas tree. What color are Christmas trees? It's got the hook and the little um, suction cup as well. You turn this one on and I know it's not showing up the greatest, but if it was dark, let me see if I'm gonna, I know, cause I won't be able to get over there to the light and come back and show you and hold it at the same time. Um, and I got it on a stand, that's why I'm getting up and down. But yeah, this one here is green. If you can kind of see that, of course, for the Christmas tree. So I was like, oh, so I have no idea. I will probably do a short because I'm dying to know. And I know you are. This one might be, the snowflake might be white. It might be blue. We know that the star is a clear. And um, I don't know what the snowman will be. He may be um, clear as well. Again, I don't know why I didn't get the, snow the Santa. I, I have no clue. I, I really don't know. Okay, just a few more things. So thank you guys for hanging in there. If you um, like this kind of stuff, subscribe, comment, like, share, ring the notification bell. Um, and I'm gonna be bringing more and more things for Vlogmas, I hope. This will be my first year doing a Vlogmas and we'll see how that goes. Um, this right here, I had to have it. It is a ginormous, and I mean, when I say ginormous, it just keeps going, going, going. It's by Viola. It just says seasonal bag. It does not give dimensions, but I'm going to do something with baby Zaire, and I'm so sorry for that glare, but isn't that so cute? It says um, candy cane wishes and gingerbread kisses. I'm actually gonna try to do something with Zaire with this bag. It's not going to be for gifts because, unless I do have one big gift that I got from Kohl's on clearance like the day he was born, um, if it fits in there, I might stuff it in there later on, but I have a, a little thing. I'm gonna do a short on it with him with that big old bag. And for $1.25, I thought it was good. Okay, I did buy one um, more thing of wrapping paper. This is the Barbie, and this is 25 square feet. Look at the Barbies. These are my Barbie girls, okay? You got all the different Barbie looks, and then you got Ken. I mean, well, it doesn't have Ken, but you have the one with Christmas on it. I wish they did have some Ken on it. Um, they don't give Ken enough um, 
playtime here, but look at these Barbies. They're gorgeous. So I got this for my secret Santa. I believe I'm going to have my niece again this year. And I, I know she's like 19. She's too old for Barbies, but I always buy her wrapping paper because <laughs> she's always going to be my little bitty niece. And she's my only niece. I have all nephews. We had a lot of boys and only a couple little girls, my daughter and, and my, my niece, Destiny. They're pretty much the only girls in the family. So every time I can, I get, I buy little girly things for them. So I bought that for her Christmas gifts. Okay, a couple of things that are new to me in this um, Christmas stuff is these, yeah, they say boho. I didn't even know that. Boho, um, excuse me for the rattling, three-piece ornament decorations by Crafters Square. Um, and if you can see, they're just those those little um, circle things. Now, I have seen a couple of YouTubers um, doing where they took out, made the Christmas uh, paper wrapping and they would glue it with hodge, uh, mod, hodgepodge or hodge mod or whatever it's called. Glue, <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, and stick it on the tree. And I'm kind of doing something like that theme. I only bought two of them. Um, I don't know why I didn't get more because these are pretty doggone cute. And there are three of them, and I'm going to use them for tr my tree this year. I'm going to, when I do decorations, I'm going to put something on them for the theme that I wind up to do. I told myself I wasn't going to buy all those signs. I've been seeing people hauling all those beautiful signs, and my store has had it. But one of my all-time favorite movies um, is It's a Wonderful Life. And this has got heart to me. I watch it. If I don't watch <coughs> any Christmas movie... If I don't catch any at all that year, I bet you I'm going to catch It's a Wonderful Life. And I just cry every single time. Every single time a bell rings, an angel gets their wings. That makes me cry every single time. I know I'm, I'm telling myself, but I got this gorgeous sign. Um, and I'm not probably going to buy a bunch of signs because when I go through all my stuff in my, my storage, I've got tons of signs and tons of mats. And I'm trying to tone it down this year. So this is the only sign that I bought so far. Let's see if I keep to that, that oath I'm trying to make. We shall see. Oh yeah, here's another um, food item that I forgot to put with the food. I guess I put it because it's Christmassy. This is the only Christmas thing I bought as far as food. I've been seeing a lot of things I wanted to pick up, but I've got so many Halloween candies and things left over and I'm thinking, uh, we need to cool back, pull back on that. So we'll see if I, I purchase any more of them. They got a lot of good things at the Dollar Tree. Um, these spoons, I'm not a huge fan of this Palmer chocolate, but these spoons, um, they're delicious and they're great for coffee and hot chocolate. My kids love them. So I went ahead and picked them up for $1.25. They're three ounces. Um, and they got the little spoons in there and I thought they were cute. You can even put it, somebody's name on it and give them as a gift. I may go back and do a couple of those. Um, picked up this glitter skirt to put with my um, themed um, tree skirt that I'm going to do. This is by Crafter Square. It's glittered drape. Look at all that glitter. Some of them didn't even have glitter. So I went hunting through them and made sure I got one with all the uh, red, green, and then of course the white snowy back there for $1.25. Picked up for Thanksgiving a couple of these um, tongs. They are in the, um, this is the silver plastic tongs. I was gonna see if it's made by, um, if it says Cater's Corner. You can see that right there. I don't wanna rattle it, but I picked up two of these for Thanksgiving and two of these, these trays. Now you cannot put these in the dishwasher. You do have to hand wash them. They tell you that on the back back here. They're very flimsy or they're thick, but they're very flimsy and can break real easy. But I got these to put um, the the rolls we're going to make probably on there or something like that. Okay. One of the new items that I'm just so excited about, guys, is this right here. It's this, this design. The North Pole Bed and Breakfast Hot Cocoa Served Here. Look at this. I love bed and breakfast stuff. I love the bed and breakfast idea. I, there's the black and white buffalo check. I got the cup. I got the two um, pot holders and I got one of the bigger pot holders. Now here's the only thing about them. They have this smell to them and I have sprayed everything on them. Last thing I'm gonna do is put some vanilla out and put them in a, in a, a container and hopefully get it out. Now, what bothers me is when I got these at the store I bought this design at, all of them smelled like that. But then I saw them at my local Dollar Tree and they didn't have that smell. So I do not know what it is. It's just, it's just a danky kind of, 
I don't know smell and it's bothering me, but once I get that out, which I'm going, I'm determined to do it. It's got the gray backing if you didn't see that. And I will be doing these colors in my kitchen, which is good because I got a lot of black and white stuff as we go, continuing on with that theme. Then guys, I did get a couple of these reefs um, because you never can go wrong. They're the garlands, 15, I think it says 15 feet, yeah. And this is by the Christmas house. And I'm gonna tell you this for $1.25, if you're trying to hide stuff, I'm gonna be talking about my beautiful tree that I've had for, I keep saying 15, 16 years, but I've had it a hot minute. It's on its last leg, but I'm gonna try it again one more year because I'm on the hunt to buy a new one. I also got a seven foot tree, which I'm going to break open and look at that was gifted to me, but I love my old tree and I'm going to be definitely putting it up. And I, I need some of this stuff to kind of to fill in some places that it's needing, which leads me to this stuff. And I had never seen the longer ones that are like this, which is perfect to tie on because it is an artificial tree and it's by the Christmas house. And this one's wired garland and it has 12 pieces. So this one is 15 feet and this is 12 pieces of those light and they bend. They're kind of like a bendy material. So they, they were good. Okay guys, if you hung out this long, you guys need to subscribe to my channel because you apparently either love to hear me talk or you love to see what the Dollar Tree has on a special this year um, and for 2022 for Christmas because I have got the download. Only ornaments that I bought and I looked through every one of them this last trip, they had some new ones, but these right here, and this is not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to incorporate them in some way they're not the theme of my tree at all, but I, I don't know if it's because I have a new grandbaby and they just remind me of little boy um, booties and little girl booties. Look at the detail on them. They uh, say they're from Christmas house, two piece, um, and they're just cute as, I love these little things. And I'm gonna figure out something to do with them. I'm not quite sure, maybe put them for pictures or something like that. So I picked up two of these and I like them because they had two in it. And then last but not least, I picked up eight, and I'm not going to pull out every single one of them, eight of these little elf um, ornaments. They have two of them. Now, if I wasn't doing a certain theme that I put on my pole, I would never buy these because they're not my faves. But I was saying I do have a little baby, grandbaby. He's going to be one, and I'm trying to make it whimsical. So I picked up eight of these. I'm not going to pull out each one of them for time purposes because we're already, oh my goodness. We've been in this talking for quite a while and thank you guys for checking this out. It's your time is so precious and I know you're probably looking at this when you see it and say, there that girl is going way long again. But I'm going to work on it, but I had to bring out all the Christmas stuff because it's time. It is time. We've got a week and a half till Thanksgiving and then it's on. I'm gonna get my ideas out for Christmas, get them to you guys. And with that said, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna wish you all a fantastic day. Again, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I hope you will take the time to do that and ring the notification bell and comment and tell me what your theme is going to be this year for Christmas. Bye guys, until the next one.